adventurous young American. Uh, yes, there is. And not up around the North Pole, because it's getting crowded up there now, because they find out it's really useful, not only to live in, but militarily. But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the poles on the other side of the South Pole from Middle America. An area as big as the United States that's never been seen by a human being. I had been programmed, and this data did not work within the confines of that program. I had to see it for myself. Two weeks later, I did. The team traveled by ship. The journey was incredibly long. The days kept getting colder. Eventually, we reached the wall. The first thing that struck me was that it was so irregular in height and shape. The illustrations and videos that Tom showed us seemed to illustrate a uniformity about it. But seeing it in person revealed that this wasn't the case. Some sections of the wall were sloped, while others were not. I would describe some areas to be two to three times the height of the Washington Monument, while others appeared to be much taller than that. On this particular visit, I did not leave the ship and therefore did not see things from atop the wall, but I can confirm that the wall is gigantic and appears almost infinite. This just scratches the surface of my experience and observations. While 99% of my work was performed from behind a desk, I saw things and learned things that would blow your socks off. The first question is whether the Earth is flat. It is. The second question is whether the world as we know it is surrounded by an ice wall. It is. The third question is what is beyond the ice wall? We have a tiny sliver of the answer to that question. And the little bit that we know is astounding. I've kept this to myself long enough. I'm tired of the lies. Mostly I'm tired of seeing the wrong people prosper because of those lies. I need help. I want to get this story out, and I need to do so safely. I'm not keen on being locked away for violating my security clearance. I expect to be vulnerable to harassment or harm by private individuals, foreign governments, and probably my own government as well. I'm writing this from a laptop that I purchased with cash two years ago and haven't used until earlier this week. I am in a parking lot outside a motel using their free Wi-Fi. I've gone over this message in my mind for years. I thought about posting to YouTube or sending out to media outlets, but I can't get myself into a situation where I've given up my freedom so that a total of 100 people can hear my story and disregard it. I am not a paranoid person, and I do not live my life in fear, but I don't believe in taking unnecessary risks. I knew that I might someday need or want sound evidence to back up my story. Photos can be fake, documents can be forged, witnesses can perjure. I'm not about to let myself be dismissed as a lunatic or a liar. So let me ask you, what would you do? I did something, and it doesn't involve photos. I have verifiable proof of my journey and where it led, but a premature disclosure or a release could undermine my ability to authenticate it. I hope to soon be in a position where I can disclose it. Now, if you've been listening to my lectures, you know I've been telling y'all, listen, what's going on is we are going to a planetary shield. The poles are reversed, okay? These beings came and invaded our planet, took over our planet, okay? And they only been here a couple hundred years. I, I, I've been telling I've been telling you guys that, and it's crazy how the ancestors work, right? Because it's like every time I tell you guys something, y'all will DM me, tag me in something, you know, it's like, hey, you told me this, and it popped up. So the more you keep keeping up with these lectures, you will begin to see that Everything that I'm telling you is coming to me directly from the source, from the ancestors, all right? I go to Google just to try to back up what I'm telling you guys with some form of human-made construct, all right? But a lot of the information that I have, some things can't even be put into human words. You just have to feel it, okay? So, um, these, these human beings are running scared right now, y'all. They terrified, okay? Um, they're doing everything to hide the fact that this second sun is coming back into our atmosphere.
Now this this is from a drone, right? This bull leaked this footage right here. I want to show you. This is a bunker right here. This is an underground bunker. It's the entrance right here. This is the back part, and it goes down in the ground. And you see the field behind you, right? Let me show you. Let me show you how really how deep this shit is. It was it was neat to meet people from around the world there, literally people from Japan, from Sweden, from New York City, from Chicago, from New Mexico, from there was actually some people there from Mars. Cape shifters. <laughs> he was joking when he said Mars. So I haven't edited this footage yet, so you can see me swinging the camera around, but you can get a sense. I mean, these are it all possible to bonkers. know what this site was until we got into the air, and then suddenly. You really get a sense of the expanse. Look at that. All of these are bunkers. White folks, rich white folks going underground. Why? When the second sun come back, there will be no more nighttime. We never had a nighttime. It's only we only experience nighttime because the second sun is gone. And what we think is a sunset is not a sunset. That's actually the sun just moving down to the other parts of the land, of the planet. Remember, it's way more it's way more land on this planet that they haven't told us about, class. So what we was taught in school was the sunset was a complete lie when they taught us that. No, what we think is the sunset is merely the sun rotating down to the other parts of the earth that we, or if you want to call it that, that we have been cut off from with these ice walls in Antarctica, all right? It's gonna start getting to the point once the second sun comes, where y'all ain't gonna see no more nighttime. Again. The darkest it's gonna get, it's gonna look like a sunset when the sky be like that purplish. That's as dark as it's gonna get. Other than that, it's gonna always be bright day. That's how our planet never went to a jet black. Never. It was never like that originally before they landed, all right? But when they pushed that second sun out of our atmosphere, all right, that's what made it like that. Nighttime is not natural to our atmosphere, y'all. It's finna blow. It's finna fuck some people up when y'all see no more nighttime. So. Also, and it should make sense. Think about it. Don't the sun? What makes nighttime go away when the sun comes out, right? So ask yourself, think, meditate, work on yoga, and y'all need to break away from me too. They can no longer hide it, people. Shit finna get real. It's life forms on all these other land masses. Shit is finna get real. <laughs> and guess what's so cold, y'all? Like they got us in trap running us in here these draconian reptilians they have draconian reptilians who they left in charge to run us in here they have also left draconian reptilians in charge to run the outer ice rings where our other family is and then they also have more reptilians in charge to run the outskirts so they have three layers of reptilian hierarchy that they had here on our planet running us and that's how they was able to keep all three of these ice walls up around us keeping us separated from each other See the ice walls? Antarctica. More land around Antarctica than there's another ice wall around that land. And then there's more land outside of that ice wall than there's another ice wall around, around that land. That's what they did when they landed. And notice it's still in a circle. So when they made their globe, they just kept the same circle format, but filled it in with this bullshit. Do y'all see it? They kept the same. They told us the truth. They showed us the truth. Look at the circle. But instead of showing the little land masses, they drew this bullshit in. I repeat it if it's skipping. I repeat it if it's skipping. Don't even worry about it. I got y'all. Okay? So, this is all the land masses. And they blocked us off with these ice walls that are now melting. Y'all see it? And we are all finna merge together as one. The melting of the ice walls, the merging of the original land mass. When they landed, they separated us. They put the ice walls up. Okay? Y'all with me? They put the ice walls up. And then lied and showed you the way your world is really shaped. Your planet really looks. Like they didn't show you all this land and all this extra land. So they showed you. Exactly. That's why they were so worried about global warming, people. He complained about the ice walls melting because once these ice walls melt, all right, all our land masses gonna merge together. So we finna be seeing motherfuckers we didn't even know we was related to and vice versa. They are also cut off. Look at it, yeah. But now that these ice walls finna melt, it's a wrap. So I just wanted y'all to see that too, all right? Exactly, that's the land you was talking about in your other line. Thank you, thank you guys, I'm gonna just say Monet. I love when y'all pay attention. I love when I teach y'all stuff and then it comes up later and y'all can recant and go, I mean, recite it so y'all can know why I'm telling y'all what I'm telling y'all so y'all can click and see 
Like how deep this shit go, how deep the rabbit hat hole go, and how we gods and why we gods and why they're human beings and how the extraterrestrials have helped them. So y'all gotta grasp this map. Only y'all gotta grasp this map, y'all. Alright? Y'all gotta grasp this map to feel to fully understand. I'm gonna be using this map a lot. Alright? Notice it looks just like this map. Just, just like they just painted this other bullshit in. It's not real, as opposed to showing you your real land masses around you. Look at all that land. All that. We only in here. This is this is Asia, Russia, North America. We only in the middle. You got all these continents up in here. You got all these around here. Not to mention, we we don't we not even originally from this planet. We were we from the Sirius star system. Wait till that dome slide back. You gonna be seeing motherfuckers you forgot existed. Your real mom and your real dad and your real family and your real your soul gonna remember them. You gonna be like, yeah, it's gonna go the fuck down. All the ice blocks melting, and y'all wondering what's going on. I'm just connecting dots. And see, I was sent back to, to, to prepare y'all. I'm already warm with them in the astral plan, so I keep telling y'all people, be careful. They can't fuck with me. The most they can do is fuck with these lives. They can't fuck with me. Because when I get off live with y'all, I go meditating, it, it be busting. I be listening, y'all. Y'all think I be making shit up. Here go the map right here. Be all in other continents. I be all on other continents on they ass. Alright? On they ass. Facts. I be all on they ass. All the other realities and dimensions on they ass. Only reptilian because that's the form they animate in this reality. Remember? Remember.